Traditions are just peer pressure, but from dead people. Now, obviously, this year's holiday celebrations are unique. But it's miserable and desolate and scary outside, coming together with your friends and family for comfort and warmth and rejuvenation and love. That's precisely what we need right now. And being forced to withhold that from ourselves is just absurdly cruel. Not because of the government's lockdowns, but because of the lack of assistance that they provided leading to the current case numbers and results. Just to be clear, family traditions and personal traditions connect us to the past in a very physical way that like photographs and writings just can't. What better ways to bring up and experience the wonderful memories of great grandmom than getting to taste her wonderful pie again. Eating bitter herbs during a Passover Seder is a literal taste of the bitterness of slavery. Christmas dinner brings a family usually far apart, both physically and emotionally, together. AIDS celebrations bring your whole community together as friends, family, and even strangers exchange forgiveness and meals. You know, growing up it feels like your family's traditions are set in stone, that these are what the holiday is. But right now, they can't be. So, I propose that you start a new tradition. Like, try and attempt a wild new recipe, and if it doesn't work out, then there's no embarrassment. But if it does work out, then you have a wonderful new treat to pass on to the younger people in your family in the future. Right, the story of the bravery and the steadfastness that this pandemic required is quite the story to be able to tie in to something you experience in such a visceral way. Look, I'll be even more blunt with you. This pandemic has ruthlessly exposed the inadequacies of our government, of at least the United States healthcare system, and of capitalism. And while God willing, we will never have to experience this level of pain and suffering again in our lifetimes. May we not let the systemic problems that this experience has blasted light onto fade away back into the darkness. But let us carry them with us in the perpetual fight for justice and betterment of society. Is that a little much for, like, just a new cake and a mug recipe every December? Maybe. But you gotta justify that sugar dump somehow. I know I joked about it, but genuinely, that cake and a mug recipe is incredibly good and incredibly easy. And, uh, I won't be able to stream next week, so there's a little slot that's open in your week if you want to, you know, give that a try. Happy Holidays!